Hello, dear traders and partners of eMarkets. My name is Daria, I'm the financial advisor, and today we're going to discuss the situation in the global financial markets. So let's get started. Aussie starts the new trading week around Friday close level, trading in the 15 pip range at the lower end after declining the most in a week. The Aussie pair showed a bearish dynamic the previous day after the US dollar cheered strong employment numbers. July's employment statistics from the US buyed the US dollar index on Friday. The headlines non-farm payrolls rose and surpassed the market expectations. The strong jobs report rejected the market fears that the Delta COVID variant slows the economic recovery. The optimism supported the US dollar the most as the policymakers are also going to provide a multi-billion dollar worth of infrastructure spending. Next, USD Canadian, and the Canadian dollar weakened against US dollar on the last day of the previous week because oil prices fell and investors were more impressed with employment data in the US than in Canada. According to published data, Canada created 94 thousands of jobs in July, much fewer than expected, despite that most of the gains came from full-time employment and the unemployment rate continued to decline as the economy is now in the reopening process. The dollar pulled back against major currencies as employees hired the most workers in nearly a year in July, giving the US economy a big boost. Last gold, and it dropped to a fresh low since March, below $1,700 amid the early Monday morning in Asia, having extended the Friday moves and shown 6% losses. It happened after a strong report from US jobs reinforced expectations that the Federal Reserve may begin scaling back economic support earlier than expected. It's important to note that during the initial Asian session today, it broke the strong support levels like $1,750 and $1,700. After showing a downtrend, it pulled back from its lows at $1,680. Now it is going to test from $1,730 to $1,750 range, which is going to be a tough for buyers. It is also worth noting that Cayman indicators shows that 80% of traders buy gold, which means that most are probably waiting for the strong upbreak. So for now, these are the main trading ideas for the upcoming trading session. Thank you for your attention. Subscribe to our channel and we will do our best for you to reach success trading with A-Markets.